Hello <clears throat> and welcome to Truckers World for another video. Hope everyone's doing okay out there. Uh, so let's cut to this video, straight to it. Uh, today's video is all about going into these really big hubs and dealing with security at the front. Uh, <clears throat> the experienced lorry drivers out there will know what I mean when I pull that face of, <sighs> you know, some are good, some are bad. Okay, so I'm just going to run through a couple of experiences and just basically give you a little bit of a heads up of what to expect. Now, this is mostly aimed at class one drivers, purely because obviously where we go, you know, are very, very big places and obviously you've got a trailer load. So you're going to big hubs. Class twos do do it. I have been with class twos, but it's mostly class ones that go there. But again, it, it works for everybody, to be honest. Um, so just tell you a couple of funny stories. Obviously, these security guys, you go to the front of the hub and you come to like security barriers, security gates. Um, and it is on some places, especially like, you know, I'm talking about your Amazons, you know, Asdas, uh, DHLs, you know, ASOSs, all these big, big places. Uh, it's like going into a prison. <laughs> it really is. Security is absolutely bang on. It's as simple as that. Same with health and safety. It's way up there. You know, you're going through double barriers and you think, oh my God, can I get in here? Can I not get in here? You know, and when you go there, it's very important, obviously, to make sure before you get there, you know what reference you've got on your paperwork. Now, some paperwork's nice and easy. Um, just one sheet, it's fairly self-explanatory. And some sheets, you might have several sheets with a list of what you've got. Can be a bit confusing, you know, I'm not going to lie. I've, I've been there, you know, and you're not too sure what's coming off here, especially if you've got a couple of drops to do. Um, but somewhere on there, you, you should hopefully have a reference number or a job number. Um, and you've got to obviously find that. Because if you get, for example, to a place maybe like Asda, and I've been to a particular Asda before, where there's nobody get on there, you have to put, you have to kind of do it manually. And you have to find that reference number. And you can't get in otherwise. You know, you can ask for help a little bit, but it's, they, they won't let you in unless you've put in this reference number manually. So again, you need that reference. Anyway, when we get to the security gates, obviously somebody's going to be on there and they're going to ask you, right, where are you from? What's your trailer number, for example? Um, are you coming in empty? Are you coming in full? Have you got a reference number? Have you got any paperwork? Like I said, some of these guys are good. Some, not so good. Okay, and I'm going to put this out there. A language barrier tends to be a lot of a problem as well. I've been to some places and the security guard, literally, you could have been mistakenly to believe that he was employed half an hour ago. They just literally, they don't have a clue, some of them. And it's like, yep, yeah, I've got this. And you see a big trailer with the big name on, maybe. And they might ask you where you're from, you know, and it's like, well, it's just there. Just have a look, you know, <laughs> you know, and they'll ask you a lot of simple questions. I know it's all they have to do their job. That's fine. I went to one place. And um, I was there for 15 minutes, a load behind me. Um, I did my job correctly. I, I, I did what I was supposed to do, but he was confused. And yeah, a lot of problems and a lot of problems with language as well. Trying to repeat yourself, you know, you get some people who are very, <clears throat> how can I put it? Uh, very strict, very jobs worth. They you know, they take pride in their job, health and safety, uh, very much on there. That's fair enough, I suppose. Uh, have you been here before? Follow this. You must do this. You must do that. You know, do you understand? And someplace, obviously, you even have to sign. You read for all this paperwork. And you have to sign at the bottom to say you understand. It's all about covering their asses, and I get it. But that's what you're going to have to, obviously, expect. Okay? So, <laughs> some, you know, are fairly easy going, and, you know, they might ask you to step outside, sign a book, you know, show your paperwork, Generally, they might even ask for your manifest. They might say, well, just give us your manifest. <clears throat> they'll have a look and they'll be able to just denote from your manifest itself what you've got on, etc., etc. But some are good, <clears throat> some are bad. Some can be a bit frustrating and tiring. One particular one, I was waiting to go out of a place. Uh, the security guard there, I was kind of diagonal to him. Now, to be fair, he was dealing with a driver incoming. However, he was walking up and down. Left, right and centre. You couldn't have missed me. <laughs> you know, there's no way you're missing a big Arctic. You're not. But yeah, I was waiting and waiting. And the driver, the driver went through. And I thought, right, I'll wait a bit longer. You know, I understand, you know, there's drivers. We, we we learn patience. So we have to wait for that driver to come in. And then, yeah, we'll go out. Wasn't happening. Wasn't happening. So I came out and, um, you know, went to him. Obviously, sometimes, again, 
you're not allowed to get out. Again, that's a health and safety issue. Um, and I just called him and I said, oh, look, you know, are you, yeah, I'm, I just want to get out. He says, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I did see you, did see you, did, I did see you, did see you. And he went on like that, for, you know, for a while. And I'm like, well, you know, to be fair, I was here. I don't mind waiting, it's fine, you know, but I was here. And uh, it's only a panic kind of uh, mounted up, really, within him. But, yeah, it's just to let you know, really, about what goes on and what to expect. Not a big deal once you've done it a few times, but I will say this, when I first start going to these big places, really big hubs and the gates and all the paperwork, it is, a, you know, you do get a little bit nervous at times, you know, when you first start doing it, because obviously, you know, if you've been used to delivering locally, you know, you go in the office, there you go, right, okay, draw your curtain back, forklift comes out, Bob's your uncle, you know, then you go into these places and everything has got to be spot on, because they won't let you in otherwise, you know, so you've got to make sure you get it spot on, you know, because... They won't tip you as well. Same with your workwear as well. You know, sometimes if you haven't got one of these or your boots, they won't tip you. One place wouldn't tip me. Uh, I got away with it at the time, but, you know, they warned me, said, if you don't have a hard hat. You know, I was an agency at the time, and it was like, right, well, I had no idea I needed a hard hat for this, you know. <laughs> no one's provided me with one. It's just stuff like that, you know. It, it's out there. It's out there. Right, so I'm going to leave it that, at that. Plenty to have a little think about, plenty to have a laugh about. Uh, by all means, share your stories online, throw some comments on there. Um, it's all good fun. But yeah, that's what to expect when you go to these big places and you're dealing with uh, the security guards. And I'll be honest with you, I would probably say, from my experience at the minute, I know it's not loads, I'll probably say about 80%, maybe even up to 90 they don't really crack a smile. Okay, so don't expect a friendly face. Oh, yeah, you're all right, you know. Um, you might get the odd one, but... From my experience, you don't, they're very, very serious and they're very, very, you know, kind of robotic that way. But hey, they've got a job to do and, hey, you know, that's fine by me. Right, thank you for watching. Um, hopefully some more videos coming up soon here and there, but we'll come to that uh, at a later time. Anyway, thanks for watching. Keep on trucking.